Give it a try. I've tried it to see how it works. Mm -hmm. Do it your regular way first, and then. Okay. Now, the Israeli way. Take your time. Any difference? Let me do that one more time. Do it again. Okay. Now the Israeli way. See how it helps you acquire the target better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. You and, will. And, and you don't have to dip too much. You just. I, I can see the feel how it helps you acquire the target better. Yeah. And it's just an option. You can still do it the regular way you do it. It's just an option. I, I think, uh, yeah, I think you can acquire the target better. With this it's up to you. Like I said, I can't tell you how you feel about it. I can only give you the information. But what? What else you want? I give to you. We don't. Compression? This, this. Okay, uh, from a 90 degree or pronated? Not does it work 90? I mean, it works. A 90 degree grip is here, right? This is, a, this is what I call a conventional, you know what I mean? Conventional shooting method. 90 degree vertical grip, right? But you got a pronated one here, here. So, what do you want to know? I know, I just, hands on, I just gotta work and see. Because I'm thinking, what I, from what I understand, Clear it out. It helps you to compress it. For you? It helps you to control the gun. Man, I'm gonna... It's shooter's preference. It's a shooter's preference. Because from what I can tell, just by just changing my elbow like that, it lets me know that everybody's anatomically built different. So the way you do it is going to be dependent upon how your body mechanics work. Well, I'm going to work both ways. Man, I'm going to, be, I, I can already shoot. Yeah. All right. But I'm going to, I'm going to become a fucking, I don't know, marksman. I'm going to, I'm going to fucking be 100% better than what I was. Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a day-to-day -day thing. For a long time, I took it for granted. You know, it's, it's like martial arts, all right? I'm, I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu okay. grappling. You know, I'm a damn good grappler, all right? And for your normal person on the street, hey, hey, they can't grapple me because they don't really know anything. Right. All right, but, and it's so, it's kind of like, what I, I say that to say that my level of marksmanship with a pistol it's good enough for the normal person, no, normal person on the street. Mm -hmm. All right. But let's say I was, say I got into it with you, okay. or some guy like I was talking about, vigilant elite, <laughs> Navy SEAL. What happens in that encounter? Am I going to be fast enough? Uh, you know, no, probably, maybe not. Uh, it, but there's other factors. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's such a it's such a broad, <laughs> complex thing because I, you prime example. You'll see people they'll be online and they'll have the little beeper, right? And it says, "Oh, shoot from the holster, conceal in 0 0.9 seconds." That's fast, but is that speed applicable to real life? That's the thing. Because yes. zero. I don't give a fuck how fast you that's are. That's what I'm saying. If I got cover. There we go. What cover? How's that going to help? Relevancy. Is it relevant? Is 0 0.9 being fast with a fucking static meter on you relevant to two people actually shooting? Or like you say, but it's not. Because so let's speed. say you're fast. Okay. I have situational awareness. I see you before you draw. So that speed didn't mean shit. So we already established that it's not about speed. 
It's not about time because we've scientifically proven that there's no such thing as time. Hell, there's some shit based on some radiological isotopes, right? So the only thing left is relevancy. What I'm after is to be able to acquire my target and have a stable enough platform to be accurate. Okay. So, so, I'm, so when I am, when I do acquire my target, I got a stable platform so that I can stay on target, even though I still might be moving. So, it's relevant. See, if you're in a, if you're in a gunfight, your target's moving and you're moving, right? So what, what's important? Is it acquiring your target? Or? It's striking fast, hard, deep, right? That's it. When you get the first shot off, the most into the right body organ with the right volume of shot, it's the person that fucking wins every fucking time. So in order to do that, let's, let's say, I know the fight's gonna happen with me and you, or me and somebody else. Uh -huh. All right. I've already drawn, because I don't know how to fight. So what's important then is for me to... Get it up. Get those shots out first. Hit the right organ, high volume of shots. Now the question is, what is the volume of shots? But that means my platform has gotta be stable. True. Boom, 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 boom. That's why the pronation system works. Because for us, if, I, if, you, if you ran to a VADA session, right, and you, you, know, you did the paperwork the whole nine yards, I'm gonna tell you, five rounds minimum. That's per person. Nothing less. You wanna give it a try? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yep, that's all, that'll be five, five. Five, five to the left, five to the right. You can do it right now. You can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want, and I'm in a different guitar. It's up to you, man. Uh, we'll see what it's like. Go ahead. We need a new target. Don't matter. You want a new one? Yeah, to get a little bit more feedback. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead and bring it in here. Here. I probably need to use this one because I only got seven shots. No, that's fine. Go ahead. And uh, tuck it. Oop. Bring it on in. Go up. 